What's wrong with you, old stuff? You had to run into me while walking. You know how expensive my clothes are. Can you afford to pay for the damage? Little girl, take me to the hospital. Who the hell are you? Trying to blackmail me? Get up and get out of here. You're disgusting, little girl. Little girl, you bumped into me, but you didn't apologize to me. Instead, you spoke ill of me. You, uh, you regret it. Regret? An old thing like you? <laughs> Ridiculous. You, you. Hey, the old woman fell down. Quickly take her to the hospital. Don't fall for her. She's just trying to blackmail me for money. She must be faking. Gu Xingxie, you think you're a doctor and you know what you're doing? Don't press blindly in case you press her to death. Gu Mingyao, you better show some mercy. Don't you know about karma? I haven't heard of it before. I'm getting engaged to Mr. Lee, and I'm going to enjoy my life in the Lee family. Karma is something you should enjoy for yourself. Karma? Grandma. Oh no, this old woman can't really be Mr. Lee's grandma. Shu Hang, call the hospital now. Get everyone out of here. Got it. Guys, don't look. Please leave. This old woman doesn't look like much. She's really Mr. Lee's grandma. Luckily, I reacted quickly. Otherwise, I'm afraid I'll be in trouble. Mr. Lee, she's your grandma. I just saw her faint. I was about to take her to the hospital. What are you doing here? I was just passing by. Mr. Lee, Grandma Lee suddenly fainted just now, and Gu Xingxing rushed over to press and pinch her. If I hadn't been there to protect her, I wouldn't have known what she was going to do to a poor old woman. Gu Mengyo, don't you have any medical knowledge or even common sense? If you don't have either, I suggest you go to a brain clinic and have your brain checked. Oh, Mr. Lee, Gu Xingxing. Seems to have given Grandma something to eat. We'd better go to the hospital quickly. Don't get into trouble. Gu Xiangxiang, what did you give my Grandma? You're really doing everything you can to get my attention. Narcissistic asshole. You think you're as good as my brother Yan? Do I need to get your attention? That's sick. I gave her Grandma the medicine that could save her life. Your grandma just had a heart attack and suffered a cardiac arrest. If I hadn't given her the medicine, it wouldn't be helpful even if you take her to the hospital. Gu Xingxing, are you cursing Grandma Li? I wanted to take Grandma to the hospital just now, but you stopped me. Now you're here to alarm us. Even if you want to get too close to Mr. Li, you don't have to be so nasty. Gu Mengyo, God is watching you. You're talking nonsense. Aren't you afraid that lightning will strike and kill you? You... Grandma, Grandma, you're awake. The ambulance is on its way. Wait a minute. Come on. If I wait for you to save me, everything will be late. Grandma. You save me, right? Grandma Lee, I'm the one who saved you. There may have been a misunderstanding between us at first, but I was the one who saved you. And it was Gu Xingxing who kept me from taking you to the hospital. I don't care if you're telling the truth. I don't like you as an old woman. So get out of here. Grandma Lee, don't kick me out. I'm really worried about you. Little girl, you're so pretty and kind. I wonder if you have a boyfriend. Grandma, I don't have a boyfriend. What do you think of my grandson? Little girl, my grandson is a good guy. Except for his poker face, and he certainly got a good personality. Grandma, Miss Lee may just have bad eyes, but other than that, it shouldn't be a problem. Who's What do you mean? Miss Lee, that's literally what I mean. You... If he likes Gu Mingyo and he wants to get engaged to her, isn't there something wrong with his eyes? Grandma, I've always had a sharp tongue and a soft heart. 
I can't just stand by and let something happen to you. I hope you can forgive me. I'm so sorry. Him old woman, if it wasn't for my engagement to Mr. Lee, I wouldn't have brought down to you. Shia, get rid of her. Grandma, let's go to the hospital first. I want my little girl to come with me. Ming Yao, Grandma may not be in a good mood today, so don't go with us. Go home first. Mr. Lee? Be good. Here we go. Let's go. Gu Sheng Sheng, I'll kill you if you go against me in every way. Mr. Lee, luckily, the old lady took her life-preserving medication in advance. She's fine now. Just pay attention to her emotion and make sure she rests well. Let's go out. Little girl, what do you think about my grandson? Grandma, I already have someone I like. It's your fault. My granddaughter-in-law is gone. No, she's so pretty and nice. I must work hard and make her my granddaughter-in-law. Uh, little girl, can you give me your contact information? Sure. This woman has so many tricks up her sleeves. She can even make the toughest old lady in my family happy. Get some rest, Grandma. We're leaving. Mr. Lee, why did you bring me here? Miss Gu, don't you already have someone you like? Why are you seducing me? Or is the person you like not enough to satisfy you? Please don't speculate on others with your own nasty thoughts. Uh, I'm nasty? Doesn't what you do make you nasty? What did I do? You approached my grandma on purpose and then staged a scene to save her. Are you playing hard to get? You've played every one of the 36 stratagems so clearly. And now you're playing the beauty trick on me, trying to seduce me? Mr. Lee, it's a shame you don't write novels with your imagination. It's just a coincidence that I met your grandmother. Oh! Coincidence? You just happened to have the medicine for my grandma. Wow! What a coincidence! I don't know what you're talking about. Did I make mistakes saving your grandmother? Narcissus, you're hopeless. Mr. Lee, since you have come to the hospital, I suggest that you go to the ophthalmology department to check your eyes. And then, go to the brain department to check your brain. And do not always take the girl's noise. Speculate on me. What? Miss Q's purpose has been revealed by me. Now you're angry. Why don't you even explain? Do you admit what I say then? Mr. Lee, are you upset because I haven't seduced you lately? You've been targeting me ever since I told you I have a crush on someone. Are you... jealous? I told you, I can't possibly like you. I'm not interested in you. How about this? Are you interested? Boss, auntie's test result came back. Mom, don't worry. I'll find the person who killed you. What are the results of the test? Boss, you're right about that. Auntie's death was really strange. We found atropine in her body. Atropine? Is it the atropine that can effectively excite the infected nerve so as to increase the heart rate? Yes, although auntie has underlying heart disease, but you treated her in time and gave her medicine. Under normal circumstances, auntie should be fine. Someone must have injected atrophine maliciously. Okay, I got it. At that time, Gu Jinhua, Jing Meiyue, and Gu Mengyue had all been to the mother's room. So who had injected her with atrophine? Gu Xingxing, you bitch! Who let you come back? Get the hell out of here! You've been kicked out of the Gu family. How can you come back? With a daughter like you, you disgrace me. I'm ashamed to have a father like you. If I could, I'd want my father to be a man instead of an animal. Bastard! How dare you say that to your father? Have you not been beaten enough? All right, all right, master. Shang Shang's mom just died. So we're the only family Shang Shang has left. 
Don't scold her. Mom, how can you help this bitch? Daughter, just stay calm now. I'll give her a hard time later. Cushing Shirk, for the sake of your mother, I'll let it go now. I'll be merciful and let you stay at my home for one more night. Cushing Shirk, you haven't eaten yet? Why don't you sit down? And I'll ask the kitchen to make something delicious. <sighs> Poor motherless child. There's something fishy about it. Seng Mingyu and Gu Mingyu might be up to something again. I have to be more careful to find the person who killed my mom. Dad, look at Gu Xingxing. She doesn't care about you. And she's still favored by Mrs. Lee and the Lee family. She can't be relying on the old woman of the Lee family to against the Gu family, can she? She grew up in the countryside. What kind of storms can she set off? Go get your mom. I have something to discuss with her. Okay. If it's not Gu Mingyo, it must be Gu Zhenghua or Zheng Miyuan. Which one of them killed my mom? What is actually hidden inside this safety box? Bitch, you're so arrogant, huh? After tonight, let's see how you can seduce Mr. Lee. Hurry, give her the medicine. Mr. Zhao's is already pressing. Master, if Gu Xingxing hadn't lost her first night, Mrs. Zhao would have paid more. Then feed her more. We can have any more trouble. Yo, isn't that cool? Gu Xingxing? Oh my god, she's in a room with a man. I've heard my friends say before that she likes to have sex with all kinds of men. I didn't believe it was true. Hey, come on, baby. It's so hard. Little baby, you're really exciting. I'll make you less hot and feel good in a minute. Who are you? What do you want to do? Your skin is fair and tender. It's gonna be awesome when we have sex. <laughs> Go away if you don't want to die! <laughs> you bitch! Showing no appreciation on my favor, huh? How dare you fight me? I'm going to kill you. Where are you going, fucking bitch? You hit me and want to run away? I'll fuck you up. Let me go! Let me go! Who, who the fuck hit me? Oh, Mr. Lee, Mr. Lee, forgive me. I, I really didn't know she's your girl. Shoo him. Get rid of it. Miska, you you need to wake up. Do you know who I am? Your brother Yan. Who is brother Yan? Of course, brother Yan is my favorite person. He's very kind to me. Well, Brother Yan, if you like him so much, go ahead and kiss him. Why are you kissing and hugging me? It's so hard. You asked for it. Mr. Lee, Miss Gu had too many drugs in her system. I just injected her with serotonin and then she needs to have an infusion of medicine. It will be dangerous if the dose is a little more than that. Give her the best medicine and don't let anything happen to her. Yes, sir. Mr. Lee, we've checked everything out. Miss Gu went home tonight. The main surname Zhao gave Gu Zhenzhua a large sum of money. Gu Zhenzhua is ridiculous. He even sold his own daughter. However, it seems that Miss Gu Mengyao is also involved in this. Gu Mengyao took me to the hotel on purpose. 
Cancel the cooperation with the Gu family, then carefully check Gu Sengsheng for me, and do everything in detail. Yes, sir. Mr. Lee, keep your voice down. Go out to talk. Mr. Lee, this is Miss Gu information. It was all blank. Couldn't trace it? No, I couldn't. This is the first time we have been able to find someone's information. In this case, only Super Hacker S can do it. Well, then find her and let her have the prize. Okay. You saved me last night. Although I don't want to admit it, Etienne is very good looking. Miss Gu, it's not appropriate to get up so early and make a move on me, right? What? Haven't the drug worn off yet? Take it easy and have a good rest. <laughs> Grandma, why did you come in without knocking? I didn't see anything. You guys keep going. Come on, Grandma. Have a seat. Grandma Lee, why are you here? Are you feeling better? Little girl, I'm much better. Oh, I heard from Xian that you were sick. What's going on? Don't worry. It's just a small problem. Xian, you better take good care of little girl. If anything happens to her, I will blame you. She is my favorite granddaughter-in-law. You stinky little boy, go for it. Grandma, it's impossible for us. She has her own crush. And I'm engaged too. You're stinky boy, you're pissing me off. Ow, it hurts grandma. Boss, here comes another big order. They want you to find a person, and the price is open. Who do they want to find? A person named Gu Sengshin. I have sent you the customer's requirement, and it's written in detail. Let me find myself, and even find out my past? Don't be ridiculous. Tell them I'm not taking this one. Boss, as they say, money is not a problem. Just say whatever you want. I'm not sure of money. Oh yeah, have you got any news about the jade pendant I asked you to check before? Boss, I haven't found it yet. But I've got a bounty on my hands. It's weird. Where the hell did my piece of jade go? Could it be... at Ishian place? Happy birthday to Miss Lee. This is Lee. This is a birthday present from our wave family. Happy birthday to you. Be happy forever. Thank you, thank you. Mrs. Lee, we wish you a happiness as immense as the Eastern Sea and longevity. Thank you, thank you. Gu Xing Xing, that night with Mr. Zhao must have been exciting. I heard Mr. Zhao is a notorious preferred who plays with women. You're... Just a leftover from Mr. Zhao's play. Let's see how can you seduce Mr. Lee later. Gu Meng Yao, you put the drugs in that bowl. Gu Xing Xing, you have to thank me. Otherwise, how do you have a chance catching up with that excitement? <gasps> Gu Meng Yao, sorry to let you down. Fortunately, you brought Yi Xian that night, and he saved me. Impossible! Mr. Lee went to work that night. How could he save you? Gu Meng Yao, do you know how many moles Yi Xian has? You're his fiancée, but you don't even know that, do you? Gu Xingxian, you bitch! Mr. Lee? If Grandma finds out about your public meeting in front of Lee House today, you won't be able to enter the Lee family. Mr. Lee, it's always Gu Xingxian. She's out of line. She's always bullying me. Isn't she just bullying you by bullying me? Take it easy. I'll bully her back. The party is about to begin. Let's go inside. Mrs. Lee, we heard that Mr. Lee is going to engage. May we know who is Mr. Lee's fiance? Yes, Mrs. Lee. Mr. Lee's fiance. Come here today. 
If she can be Mr. Lee's fiancée, she must have a good family, good looks, and good knowledge. Our family has always attached importance to people's views and character. It has nothing to do with her background. No matter how rich other people's families are, they can't be richer than ours. <laughs> Which of those two ladies is Mr. Lee's girlfriend? I don't know. The one on the left looks more beautiful and has a good figure and she had a lot more temperament than the one on the right. Why do these people have such an aesthetic? Why is Gu Xingxing better than me? I have to let all these blind people know that on the 20th of the next month, I will be engaged to Mr. Lee. Grandma, I'm here to visit you. Just sit. Grandma, I have chosen this for you. According to what Mr. Lee said about your preferences. Oh my god! This is the best green jade. This kind of jade is a rare thing to find. L look at that. That is official king blue and white porcelain. Lenny Jung Gingsen? I can actually see the Gingsen as big as the radish. Miss Gu is really thoughtful. Gu Xianxia, I assume you brought Grandma a present, right? But you didn't take anything. Where's your present? You came to see me. That's the best present. Grandma, in fact, I have a present for you. Really? Your gift must be special. Damn it. I brought so many expensive gifts, and you didn't even look at them. Gu Xingxing has not even taken out her gift, and you are so happy. You're just trying to embarrass me. Gu Xingxing, then you better get your present out. We all want to know what exactly did you bring as a gift. I thought she was gonna take out some fancy joy. What the hell is the darkness? Yes, it just looks disgusting. Is this garbage? Hmm, <sighs> she shouldn't have done that. Mrs. Lee was discharged from hospital today and she gave her such a gift. This is very inappropriate. Gu Xingxing, even if you don't want to give Mrs. Lee a gift, you can't embarrass yourself with this garbage. This is not a garbage. This is a rejuvenation pill made by Master Senku. This pill will detoxify all poison. This is a life-saving drug that no amount of money can buy. What? That is rejuvenation pill? Mrs. Lee, I am willing to give you 10% of share of the cell group. And I hope you can sell this to me. Mrs. Lee. I am willing to give you 30% shares of the Zoo Group in exchange for this rejuvenation pill. Mr. Zoo, aren't you being a little unkind? I say it first. That is the rejuvenation pill made by Master Senke. It's a life-saving drug. You said you want it? I want it too. <laughs> you two, stop fighting. You're both old. That is the rejuvenation pill. It's a waste if you eat it. Mrs. Lee, I'm willing to give you 40% shares of the Wei Group in exchange for this. Oh my god, this little thing is a gift from Master Shenshue. The definition pulls something that three families are fighting over. I thought it was garbage. Huh? She has the rejuvenation pill? Who the hell she is? Stop fighting. This is a gift for my little girl. I wouldn't sell it. My little girl, I really like this present. You give me a look how much this old man is. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Bitch, don't think just because you delivered a fucking pill, you're gonna be proud. I'm gonna embarrass you today and make this old lady never likes you again. Grandma Lee, actually, Xian and I got you another present. Another gift? Xian, you got a present too? Grandma will be angry with me if I embarrass her by saying that I didn't prepare a gift in front of so many people. Grandma, I heard 
that you like music. I'm going to play a song with Yan. Wishing you a long and happy life. That's great. I haven't heard Chien play for a long time. Little girl, my grandson Chien, he is very good at playing the piano. Let's enjoy it together. I must let my grandson show more in front of her, showing his charm. In case my granddaughter-in-law runs off with someone else. Gu Xingxiang, wait and see. The difference between you and me. I got a gold medal for playing the field and country pumpkin like you, you're not even qualified to compete with me. Oh my god, too melodious. Miss Gu deserved to have won the violin gold medal. She is so great. Mr. Lee and Miss Gu make a perfect match. They are just an enviable couple. Gu Xingxiang, can you play the violin? Do you want me to teach you? It's so easy. I can play the violin. Gu Xingxiang, I don't believe you. The violin is broken now. I'm just waiting for you to embarrass yourself here. Bitch, I'll be right here waiting for you to be embarrassed. You will insult yourself by playing the violin behind me. Kumang y'all, stop bragging. Dan, let's wait and see. Miss Gu, do you need piano accompaniment? You just played with Ku Meng Yeo, and now you wanna play with me? What a bad man. I don't need you. No, a good violinist. It's no embellishment. Oh my god, it was a heavenly dread. I thought that it was gonna be noisy. But it turned out to be this beautiful sound. So beautiful. I was a little dizzy listening to it. So amazing. She's better than the last one. That's impossible. How can Gu Xiangxiang play the villain? Didn't I just do something on this violin? How is she better than me? Miss Gu, who taught you to play the violin? Come here. Let me teach you. First, press your chin down here. Then put this hand up. Then press the string. This way, and you can play the violin according to the music score. Thank you, Brother Yan. Who taught me? It seems that it has nothing to do with you. My little girl, you're awesome. What you're playing is the most beautiful sound I've ever heard. You're much better than somebody. I didn't expect that Gu Sheng can play the violin so well. She's so excellent. Maybe she is more suitable to get engaged to Mr. Lee. Have you found out that Grandma Lee prefers Gu Sheng? Grandma Lee doesn't like that girl Gu Mengyo at all. Gu Xiangsheng, you bitch! How could she be so popular among those people? I'm the one who is getting engaged to Mr. Lee. Gu Xiangsheng doesn't deserve it. Those people know nothing about violin. They haven't acquired a taste for it. I can be defeated in the world of violin. I must beat Gu Xiangsheng. Grandma told me this is Xiangsheng's bedroom. Why does it look cold and cheerless like nobody lives in? I wonder whether I can find my jet pendant here. Miss Gu. I'm done. When did he come? Why does he walk without making a sound? Uh, well? Grandma said your room is in a mess, so I'm here to tidy it up. I just put away something for you. 
Miska, do you like me? <laughs> Miss Lily, you're so handsome. How could anyone not like you? <laughs> What a narcissist. Miska, your expression of love is very special. You have such a strong taste. Oh, uh, what? It's okay if you like me, but how dare you steal my underpants? Oh my gosh, there are so many things here. Why do I grab his underpants? Please don't regard me as a psychopath. Um, I'm sorry, Mr. Lee. I can't explain. Maybe you should tell me why you know how many moles I have. You just drop on me. I just talk nonsense. But your words made my fiance confused about our relationship. So he comes to me for grooming, yo? <laughs> If grooming yo misunderstand us, you should go and explain to her instead of talking to me. Miss Gil, how about us making it a reality? You can count how many moles I have in my body.